Let's take a look at the 6'8 freshman out of Stanford, Harrison Ingram. 31% three-point shooter on 115 attempts last season, and it was about the same on catch and shoot, 32%. So here against USC, looks really nice. Catches it, knocks it down, looks fluid. Here, a little bit more movement, okay? Didn't think he looked real great on that rep, and then even just the catch and shoot. Didn't see a whole lot of movement stuff from him. Really tough to decide how much I buy into the three-point shooting, because then all of a sudden he shows something like this, a tough sidestep against UCLA and able to knock it down but then against Baylor this one's going the other direction but doesn't look quite as good so I think where I'm at with him as a three-point shooter is I think he's going to be an average a decent a good enough respectable catch and shoot three-point guy in the NBA the mid-range left something to be desired not a whole lot of reps and it wasn't very efficient I know that's a tough shot isn't able to knock it down here against Oregon State he gets a pretty clean look and again not able to knock it down wish I would have seen a little bit more from the mid-range from Harrison Ingram now this rep looks good so again depending on how much you buy into just a couple reps a couple possessions how much that projects to the next level where he can do it consistently but I liked how that one looked now into his passing. So first we're going to start with the mid post. Saw a lot of this dribble into the mid post and I really like his read here. So the double comes, doesn't make this pass as he sees the rotation from UCLA, sees the weak side, makes a nice pass, teammates not able to knock it down. We'll talk about that a little bit with his assist numbers. Here again, dribbles into a mid post. I don't know how much NBA teams are going to let him do this, but draws the double team and then makes the nice read to get a teammate a look at the rim. Now, the thing with this is he only scored, scoring, it does, not including assists, 0.56 points per possession when he shot the ball in these type of situations. So how many NBA teams are going to double him? Where are the reads actually going to come from if everybody stays home? And I think he's got to do a better job. I know this is Kendall Brown. I get it. But he's got to be able to create advantages and score the basketball to get the second guy to come and get teammates look. So I buy the passing. What I want to see better is his ability to actually score from the mid post here. Again, you, he gets the secondary defender to come over and block and eventually opens up an offensive rebound opportunity, but he didn't create a real nice look for himself. Here he's going to make this one, so a really tough shot over the contest. I, you got to love guys that can make tough shots. Is he going to be able to do that consistently, or is he going to be able to find ways to create open looks for himself in that mid post if he ends up playing there? Let's go back to the passing. So whether it's from a ball screen or isolation, I really buy into it. So you see him attack the defense there, force some help, little left-hand scoop to his cutting teammate. And then even just a simple plays. So I love this. Catch immediate one more. If he holds this for a second, the defender closes out, makes it a tougher shot. He knows exactly where he's going to go with the ball as soon as he catches it, gets a look for his teammate. Defensive rebounder I really liked in this Baylor game against Kendall Brown. He comes up with some, a couple really tough ones. You see his ability to grab and go here. He's going to refuse the ball screen, forces the help from the big or gets the help from the big, and then just makes a simple hook pass to his teammate at the top of the key. Again, I realize maybe this isn't super impressive, but I wanted to highlight these as well. Again, coming off a ball screen and then just the one-handed pass off the dribble. Defender stuck right here and he puts it on time, on target to get his teammate a look. I think those things are just as important to be able to make those simple reads as the high-level ones I'm about to show here. This is I fell in love with these plays right here, these next two. So the first one, you can see his eyes holding this defender getting him, baiting him to stay with the roll guy, but he knows he's going to his teammate in the corner and gets him a wide open look because of it. To me, that's high level stuff for anybody, let alone a freshman in college. And then he does it again here against Oregon State. The eyes holding defenders, you see it's locked in, this help defender here, going to his teammate in the corner. And again, without that eye manipulation, his teammate doesn't get that shot off. So I really like his passing in these situations. Again, I like to highlight that it's not always perfect. Okay, he did average 2.3 turnovers. Not real concerning. Had a couple bad games. Didn't always make the perfect read. Here it should be to his teammate on the weak side, but instead he throws it to his big who's been tagged and doesn't really have an advantage. So some room to grow still in those ball screen reads. 
What I think is going to be super important for Harrison Ingram is getting better finishing at the rim. Just 42% last season. It was even lower in true drives and isolations. Not very good in those post-ups, as I mentioned earlier. And that's what he likes to do is just kind of throw his shoulder in and bully his way there. I just think he has to have more of a variety. So here he's going to his left. Gets to a decent spot, but not able to finish with the little left-hand scoop. And then even this one here, he creates the advantage on the closeout. And a lot of guys, they're just going to go take up this space and finish at the rim. And you can almost see him slow down and, again, play through this. And I, I don't mind this. You're going to have to play through contact at times. I just didn't think he was super successful with it. So maybe he'll continue to get stronger. Maybe he'll get better at it. But I would like to just see him create some other ways he can finish at the rim. Really love that rebound against Kendall Brown right there, but I thought the rest of this clip highlighted again, is he always going to get a ball screen, and if he doesn't, is he going to be able to get into the lane as you see Kendall Brown just hound him and hound him and hound him, and he's never really able to create an advantage. This is how he scored a lot in the games I watched at the rim. He just kind of bullied his way down there and then just finished. I'm just not sure I believe that's going to work and translate to the NBA. So what I wanted to see more of and what I think he has to work on is some stuff like this. So here goes to a little finesse, able to reverse on the other side of the rim. Here against UCLA, he's going to attack the closeouts. Nice hesitation. Gets into the lane again. Little Euro step in the right-hand scoop. And then we're going to see one more here as he plays through contact after using the ball screen. Going to get downhill and then finish over a contest. He's going to be a below-the-rim finisher, but I just think he's going to have to get more efficient. Just like in the mid-post, if he wants to showcase that passing, he's going to have to be able to showcase some scoring. Let's move to the defensive side of the ball. On ball first, when he's set in front of his guy, I, I believe in him. And he's going to be active with his hands. He's going to put the offensive player a little uneasy, as you see there, just kind of reaching but staying in front. Really like that rep from him there on ball. Against Santa Clara, same thing. Going to get out and guard, push the offensive player up. Not able to use the ball screen, so I really like that. My concern, and I don't know how much he's going to be in these in the NBA, is when the ball screen is set. So here, not great fundamentals, not a real great sense of urgency to get back in front, and doesn't get involved on the defensive boards. Same thing here against Baylor. So he's set in front against the smaller player, and he stays in front. Love it. Now as the possession continues, the ball screen comes, and the activity's just not as good. Maybe he's not in these as much in the NBA, but I did want to highlight it. Here you see really good fundamentals. Steps over the top, is able to was going to be able to get through if the screen stays. Here, not so much. Now it ends up being a legal screen, but I just wanted to highlight if he is going to be a guy that's guarding out on the perimeter, I do think he has to get better defending ball screens. Young player, I'm sure he will. Nice close out here, and then you see the active hands as he just knocks it away from the offensive player. A less than one still a game, less than a half a block a game, but I do think he was a little more disruptive on the ball. Now, I do think, and I'll talk about how much ball watchy he gets. I think he gets a little too far away from his man at times. This is Kendall Brown, so he's probably playing in the right spot, but the closeout has to get better, and it wasn't just on Kendall Brown. There were multiple instances where he wasn't able to close out and stay in front, so ball screens and then closeout is where I think he has to get better on the ball. Off the ball, again, I talked a little bit about the ball watchy and getting away from his guy. So there he loses him just enough that it ends up in an open shot. I think he'll get better. It's not a huge concern, but again, just wanted to highlight it. Here, he's watching all of this action, ends up losing track of his own man. So I think sometimes he wants to be so involved and be such a good team defender, he loses track of his man just a little bit. But in general, I think it was pretty good off the ball. So here again, you see him? A little further away from his man than I would like, but as the ball comes closer, he starts to get closer to his man, and then I love to highlight this. This isn't his help, and so he doesn't help, and I think that's just as important as when it is your help, you going. I think he can be a good team defender, a good positional defender. Double team comes on the post. He's on the weak side. He's going to tag down low. Love this rep. From Harrison Ingram really nice there we're gonna see it again here teammate gets back screen he's gonna help as the UCLA player comes open very good job there then gets back in position again helping a little bit on the drive but not too much he's gonna be able to recover to his man in ball sides corner in strong corner so I do think he can be a guy that really helps a team and be a good team defender 
maybe the major issue is when he is low man and he is in the right spot, is he going to be able to come up with the steal or the block? So here he's kind of in the right spot. Maybe should come over another step tries to just reach, isn't able to force a turnover or really contest the shot. And then you're going to see the same thing against Baylor right there. I mentioned earlier, only a, less than a half a block a game. So that may be some issues in rotations or as the low man.